Hi everyone. So now we are going to do a demonstration on Minitab 19. Minitab 19 is a perfect statistical tool which would help us to do a lot many analysis which we can't do on other tools like uh, Microsoft Excel. It's a one powerful tool which has a lot many commands, a lot many things done at the back end. Uh, we just have to use some small steps to perform those actions. Okay. So in Minitab you would find a lot many uh, analysis on the problem solving that we have done. We just have to put in the data in the mini tab and we would be able to get a lot many analysis, a lot many inferences that we can get from mini tab. Okay. So I just want to show you a demo uh, of mini tab that how does it look like? What all things that we need to keep in mind? Okay. So you can see in the file section itself, we have a lot many things which have already seen on Excel. So we have new which is new project or new worksheet. Anytime if you want to open a new project, new worksheet, open <clears throat> save project as save, save worksheet. Okay, all these things that, that are generally there. Okay, then the normal copy and paste. The majority of the stuff lies in mini tab is under, under stats, graph. Okay, under stats, we can use the basic stats to you lot many tools like one sample D, two samples D, you can see it here, one proportion test, two proportion test, okay, correlation, normality test. So we'll be doing the normality test as well in the upcoming phases. Uh, then we have uh, uh, regression analysis, ANOVA analysis, which is part of Minitab, which are considered as a statistical analysis, okay. Graph is one particular tab which is used to do uh, analysis on the seven quality tools that we are going to have. Okay, so you'd find here scatter plot, okay, histogram, uh, box plot, all these things which are uh, used as the quality tools that we're going to talk about in the graph section. Okay, um, then we have help and assistant anytime if you have any questions, anything where you get stuck. Anything where you get more information, you can get into the assistant section or a help section to get those questions answered. Okay. So uh, now you can see in the mini tab, we have certain options, uh, which is, uh, so this is, this option is the uh, last edit dialog box. So for example, if you have done some tests and you want to do some modifications, so you don't have to perform the command once again, you just have to click on this edit last dialogue and you would, it will take you back to where you started. Okay. So we'll be doing a lot many tests on the mini tab and then you would be able to understand the relevance of mini tab. But I just want to show it to you so that you can understand what is the feeler of mini tab. Okay. Um, and then once we get into it, then you can see here, there are cells mentioned here from C1 uh, here. Okay. So anytime you want to paste any data, you don't have to paste it from cell number one. You have to paste it at C1, okay? So let's say I have some data in Excel. This data, let's say I have, okay? So it's very simple. It's like Excel, you don't have to key in the data in the mini tab. You just have to copy whatever you want. So let's say if I want to copy this, I select all, I do control C, the usual I do, I go to mini tab. Now I have to put my cursor on C1, not on one to paste it here. Okay, that's a rule. So I selected my cursor on C1 and I use control V. Here the data has been pasted. Now this data is used to perform analysis basis data type back. It has, this is the analysis that I'm looking for. I would be able to do that analysis right away. Okay, so you see here, uh, on, uh, under each of the cells, you would you would see some of the numbers mentioned. You would see T mentioned here, and in some of the fields like uh, C11, you won't find T here. Okay, C13, you won't find C14, C15, C16, C17. Okay, so what is the meaning of T here? T means a text. Okay, a text, something which is a kind of a discrete data. Okay, which can be an attribute data. You can see T here. Okay where you would find categories, binary, all sort of data. But if you go to C11, which is the 18 seconds data, you'll find there is no T mentioned here. 
So this is a this is a continuous sort of a data. Okay, that's why it does it doesn't have to. It's a variable sort of a data. Similarly, you see C13. It's a whole time data. C11 was HT in seconds. It's a handling time data. So you would you you didn't find the uh, T here, which is text. Otherwise, you would see all these uh, data have been pasted here. Okay, so that's what I was referring to, and then I was referring to this section, the last edit dialog box. Okay, so if I just click on it here, uh, you if whatever action you have performed previously, you just click on it, and it would ask you to make certain changes in it. So we'll so this is one of the very important thing that we have, and when we'll do many time hands on exercises, then I will show you some more. Uh, opportunities, some more features of Minitab, which can be very, very useful. Okay, so I hope this is uh, very, very relevant to you. I hope you have learned from it. I hope it is, it is, you would be able to understand it and you'd be able to use it in the different, different analysis. So we will be doing the Minitab hands-on, but this is just a basic operating procedure to start Minitab. Okay.